everyone. GIS, the full name of GIS is Geographic Information System, which is a set of coordination systems with longitude and latitude to deal with information of the Earth's surface. Actually, GIS is not new to MySQL. We have been supported when we still at 4.1. MySQL use its home built develop code, home direct code, on MySQL engine to support GIS. But for the limitation of MySQL and some of the stability issue created by the homegrown code, it was not that popular. Why we before 5.6? In the version of uh, 5.7, GIS is implemented by adopt boost geometry. And we support a group of standards like uh, OGC, SQL, ML, Pass 3. But uh, with 5.7, we can only support addition coordination system, which address only flat edge service. It is not related to not 100% matching with the uh, fair shape of uh, Earth. And with April 0, we can suppose a geographic coordination system that can deal with the ellipse of the Earth and we can precisely, uh, we can do some uh, pressure precisely much precise than we used to be. And we also support GeoJSON data format. In addition to that, we also support more than 5,000 SRS. The full name is a special reference system. And the GIS features are built in by default. We don't need to install extra plugins by creating information schema ST special reference system, which is a table. Actually, it is a data teaching review. You will know what SIS system are supported by the specific measure instance. And the most important is that we also can customize SIS. For example, if you want to create your own SRS from a standard coordination system, but you want to change its longitude and the latitude position to accommodate the uh, imported data, external imported data. You need only, the only thing you need to do is to create uh, your own SRS from a standard, based on a standard SRS system and uh, import it into the system. So, what objects are come with GIS? First, we can we have many we have some uh, special data to support GIS, uh, like uh, polygon, tree line, cone, geometric, etc. We we can use them to represent variable real shapes objects of the map. The type can be used as a color type of the table. And in order to operate against the special data, we also add a various special function, which including functions that convert between special data and the various data format, like a text, dialog, for example, ST geo from text can convert uh, where no text uh, uh, into a geometric data, you know, special data. Where no text is is a kind of a syntax uh, to specify, specify the, the shape of the, of the object, like a line, point, polygon, or multiple polygon. And uh, we can use STS, uh, AS text to convert the geometric data to a text so let us be able to understand the, uh, the content of the data, all interactive with the rest of the of the system, with the rest of part of the database. 
So it will allow you to import and export outside data between between the database and the outside data uh, for uh, for the spatial data. And there are also functions to get the spatial data properties, such as uh, ST lens, who know the lens of a line stream, and ST SID to figure out what SID is the, uh, the, the spatial data using. And we also have function to operate against two spatial data, such as SD distance to know the distance of the of, of the point, uh, SD overlaps uh, to know if uh, two uh, or two uh, polygon uh, overlap with each other, something like that. In SI space by which coordination system is used uh, to the spatial data. And the different SIS will come up different results uh, with uh, 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 when we execute the same spatial function. For example, SD distance, we will take different uh, uh, different distance value uh, with a condition SIS and or and, and the geometric uh, SS, uh, which is uh, considering the run shape of the of the service of Earth service, and uh, but the Cartesian uh, SS only take uh, the, the all the map of the kind of the uh, uh, flat service. Of course, uh, same as the rest of the object, uh, we have a uh, we can use index to accelerate the spatial operation. For spatial, uh, it, to create a, to create a spatial index, actually, it is, uh, when you create a spatial index, actually, it is create a bit, it does not create a bit tree structure. It will create a, a R tree structure. Uh, the artery structure is composed by the uh, MBR, which is a minimum boundary rectangle, uh, and uh, each node contains an MBR. And by work through the artery structure, it will help us to get you know get much better performance than the foot of scale. And uh, some of the spatial function will, uh, will apply the the spatial index automatic, like uh, ST index X, ST, ST overlaps, ST within, or even ST distance. With this example, it shows how to deal with uh, spatial data with the out from, uh, you know, between the outside of the between the uh, outside of the, the spatial data with the risk and also the spatial data. First, if you need to store the spatial data, you, you need to create a, a table uh, with a spatial data type. Like this one, I created a, a table called city and they use a location, ROC, color, the color type is a point, which is, a one, is one of the spatial data to store the location of the city, and uh, its SID is a standard web, which is the uh, 4326. And, uh, and then I insert the data into the table, uh, like Toronto uh, here or San Francisco. And for the uh, location color, I need to convert the weather X into a point. Uh, so I use ST geometry form from X uh, to convert the point, uh, the point is based by the uh, latitude and the longitude and the, its uh, SID. Uh, if you didn't specify SID, by default it will use the uh, default one, which is same as this one, uh, for the string 26. We might not need to manually insert the spatial data one by one. 
there are many ready to use GIS data sets and, uh, per, and also programs to import special data into the database. They include the data set that created by government agencies, agencies such as the uh, Home Affairs uh, Transportation Department, or some of the GIS community also offers those uh, special data set, uh, like the street map of uh, each country can be downloaded from OSM. The full name is uh, Open Street Map. Uh, in my demo, I also download the street map the, of the Singapore uh, from OS, OSM. And they use OTR to OTR, which is a, which is a, a freeware uh, uh, from uh, from GDAL. Uh, GDAL is full name the uh, Geospatial Data Attraction Library, and it can it can be is uh, it is available uh, from Anaconda. Anaconda. So as this example shows, I can specify uh, I. Uh, which search for is, is to in, uh, to import uh, this uh, this example I suspect by the region census year 2010 of SHT which is a search one and the, the target database uh, is the local host uh, by people the phone number is associated six state and the username and I use a root as a username uh, uh, as a user account to, to do the import. And the target database, target or target schema, is GISSC, and the engine is you know DB. Okay, let's do something real. Uh, so I show you the demo. I'm using MySQL share to to let you to to. Now I'm using my share, yeah, uh, to show that what I have before uh, before the importing. Uh, then I create a SG schema or SG database and uh, use OR, OGR to OGR uh, import the ship file into the SG database. Uh, the target database is at the local host. Use a root account password, and the shift file is sg underscore admin one dot shp, uh, which was downloaded from OSM and it shows the administration, the first level administration district of Singapore. And after I did the loading, let's check what I get. Uh, so. We, so in the SG database, uh, I can see you can see that we, I have a new table called the map, and uh, let's check the what what map uh, what the um, table of map has. It contains five rows. Each row represents a district, a, a gene district of Singapore, like uh, west, uh, central, north. And uh, let's check the structure of the map table. It shows that uh, uh, there's a one uh, geometric column uh, called shape. Its SID is 4683, which is not standard one. Uh, sometimes it causes a problem for me. And uh, there's also there's also one special data special index uh, at on top of the special column. Now uh, let's check uh, what the client side can see. Let's first, I use the MySQL workbench to check the content of the map. And so I select the content from SG map table. It shows by column there. And when I move to uh, form editor, it shows the detail of the, of the row. Uh, the shape column that would display the, the map of the shape. I think this map should be for for central district of, of uh, Singapore. And uh, there's a text attached, uh, 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 a text with, with a ship. Uh, it is a well-known text. Uh, it shows uh, the content is a uh, multi-polygon and uh, the, the longitude and the attitude of each point which come 
host the, the area. And when I moved to uh, GIS uh, uh, view panel, it shows a map uh, of uh, Singapore. Actually, it was composed by those five uh, districts, uh, which is occurred from the, the, the SG map table. And do some adjustment to make the map looking better. Okay, Let, now let's look the data graph with a different tool, which is a QGIS. QGIS is quite popular uh, GIS tool. Uh, uh, if I need to show the data from, show the GIS data, I need to specify the data. I need to create a, a, a layer and it's fetch by its data source, the data source is the database, and, uh, uh, and uh, assigned to MySQL. Uh, the table, now I need to figure out what, which table I, I want to use. Uh, actually, I picked the SG admin one GIS table to display. And the uh, other layer, click the add button, the other layer, it will uh, uh, digest some information from the database and uh, let me be able to add what kind of content I'm going to add to the layer. So the SD admin table should be displayed and it shows uh, the full Singapore map which was composed by those five columns which are all by history. And then I create another layer uh, the layer is, uh, uh, sh uh, uh, shows the building, the location of the building. Uh, the buildings should be from, the buildings are from Singapore and then Malaysia. Now I also specify the table name of the buildings. And after I click the add button, it will show the location of each building. Actually, the building table contains almost uh, uh, 1 million which is one million buildings uh, between Singapore and uh, Malaysia. So next, I will do some kind of uh, operation uh, with the uh, uh, manually with the ST function. Uh, I, in this demo, I try to show you uh, which building are uh, located at within, you know, uh, uh, within uh, within uh, one kilometer kilometers away, uh, less than one kilometers away from this building, which is a lifelong learning center. The first thing I need to know the the position, you know, the location of the lifelong learning center. So I create a column called point one. It is the type the data type is the point. Uh, the point shows the location of each building, and I, I after I create it, I'll, I insert it, insert it into a local variable called the SI uh, PNT. And after I uh, did the query, the uh, SI PNT uh, is has is come you know uh, contains the uh, position of the uh, lifelong learning center. Then the next selection is I I I query against the uh, the uh, building table and uh, use a use a function called a, a ST distance view. Uh, the permit the input permit point one of each row and the local variable uh, assign point, which is the location of a lifelong learning. You know, use the SD distance pair to know uh, each the distance of each building uh, between the uh, between the, the lifelong learning center, which is the uh, uh, of the force area. And uh, also at one view is the type should be 
So it shows the uh, commercial building uh, that uh, which uh, which distance is uh, less than one kilometer away from this place, and then uh, it shows the distance here. So the result result shows that there are four buildings uh, are, uh, are less than one meter away, and it's, their distance are about uh, nine hundred meters, about nine hundred meters uh, from the Venus. Uh, the last uh, part is the key tax away. Uh, this is my show. My show eight, uh, it provides so many GIS features, so comprehensive GIS features, and it follows standards, uh, follows most of the standards like uh, SQL, MM, Part 3, or OGC. And it can also support multiple SIS and uh, also, and you can also customize your, your own SIS. And with the index, uh, with a special index, it will facilitate the pre performance uh, or the operation, uh, special operation uh, of the special data. And uh, because it is a follow standard, so most of the GIS tools support by SQL, uh, include uh, Sapati tool or our own, our own tool like my workbench. And uh, so GIS is uh, totally uh, be able to support most of the uh, GIS uh, information system or GIS applications. So you are free to use the GIS feature uh, from MySQL uh, because it is included in, uh, in, the, in the library by default. Uh, you don't need to pay any money uh, in order to use the uh, Answer GIS, and uh, on the other side, it also let us be able to extend our existing match match application application to add some location based feature to those applications. So please feel free to try the GIS feature of MySQL, and uh, let us know you let us know your comments or your your suggestion against those uh, features, and either uh, contact, contact us directly, uh, send an email to, to Ryan or to Hananto, or you can look at a, a, a bug report uh, uh, with, uh, uh, in our bug reporting system. Uh, actually, it's not limited to bug. If, if there's a feature has requires required. You can also use bug report to, you know, to to show your your requirements uh, with the MySQL team. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you very much.